Welcome to Access Radio 104.4 FM. Special edition today, school holiday program with Media Kids. Welcome. Today we have the first group of uh, very talented kids who came to learn how to be radio hosts and create content for radio show. We have a vast number of topics to cover, starting from video games, finishing with sports. Please welcome George, Margot, Aidan, Monroe, Aaron, Alistair, Sam. Mommy. This is Access Radio 104.4 FM. I'm George Harrison. That was Pink Floyd. And today's guest is Michelle Bent. And we're talking about New Plymouth. What do you like about New Plymouth? I like lots of things about New Plymouth. I like, I love the view of the mountain and I love all the beautiful scenery. I love being close to the sea as well. Have, what do you like about the sea? pretty much everything about the sea I like being in it I like looking at it I like being on it um, I love the beaches even even when it's a cold wintry windy day I love going for a walk on the beach with my dog and and then in summer I love swimming at the beach what would be your favorite beach I think my favorite beach is back beach mm. 
where have have you been living in New Plymouth your whole life? No, I've actually lived um, in a lot of different countries, uh, but I was born in Sydney, Australia, and I grew up there, and then I moved to New Plymouth about 21 years ago. What do you th- think's different from us, Sydney to Australia? I mean, to New Plymouth. Mm, well, the weather's quite different. I must admit, I really like sunshine and hot weather, and we don't have quite as much hot weather here as I would like to have. Um, but Sydney's a really big city, and it's busy, and it's expensive, and it takes you a long time to get anywhere in Sydney. So it used to take me about an hour to get to work, whereas here in New Plymouth, it takes me about five minutes to get to work. So that's a really good thing. My dad used to take him an hour just to get from one end from from our house to his work. Now it only takes like 15 minutes. Oh, wow. So where are you from, Sam? Uh, sorry, George? I'm from... Christchurch. Christchurch. And how long have you been in New Plymouth? About a year and a half. Alrighty. And what do you like about New Plymouth? That everyone's really friendly and that you can always ask for directions and that everyone's willing to share a smile and a laugh. Oh, that's good to hear. Did did you find that when you first moved here? Yes. When we first arrived, everyone was very welcoming and when we, if we weren't sure where to go, everyone would point us in the right, what, what the, the right way. That's good to hear. Yeah, it is a very friendly place, isn't it? And mm. what another thing that I like about New Plymouth is there's so many different types of people here. There's people have moved to New Plymouth from all over the world and all over New Zealand too. So it's um, quite a diverse bunch of people that make up this city. Yeah. What do you think of like the scenery and like the mountain? Have you ever been to the top of the mountain? Oh, I have actually. I've been to the top once, which was fantastic. Mm. But I must say that I underestimated how hard it would be because I went with a group of people, um, including two of my sons, and I thought that I would kind of be looking after them because the youngest was... Uh, one of my boys was 11, and I thought, oh... I'll have to kind of look after him on the mountain. But he ended up looking after me because he was a lot fitter than I was. <laughs> so it's pretty hard work getting to the top, and I certainly wouldn't do it in winter, but it's worth it. It's a great feeling of satisfaction when you make it to the top. I haven't been to the mountain myself, but I've climbed up. I'm not sure what they're called, but the not next to the how it's got the, mount, the little so, small mountains next to the mountain and after then they've got the little hill, like big hills. Oh, the Puakai Ranges? Yeah, I've been to the top of the Puakais. Oh, wow. And the view was pretty cool. I could see all over New Plymouth, right down to the end of the um, breakwater. Oh, great. And was that in summer or winter? That was in summer, yeah. Mm, quite hard work getting up there, isn't it? There's lots yeah. of steps on that track. It was a bit quite muddy too. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you have um, so much greenery. It does indicate mm. that it rains quite a lot and yeah. um, makes everything grow really well. Mm. What do you to do with the green, like the bush and that? Do you like how if there's lots of walkways all through there? Yeah, I really the do. New Plymouth? Yeah, there's lots of really cool places to walk, it, you know, inside New Plymouth and also... Um, you know, just around Taranaki, there's lots of really good walkways. Yeah. I must admit that even after 21 years here, it still feels strange to me to be walking around in the bush because it's not, um, things don't make as much noise here as they do in Australia. In Australia, you're always hearing rustling and you often see little animal snakes or mm. little, you know, mm. possums or something. And um, here it's just really birds that you see. But. Yeah. Um, it's, I like the walkways too because from our house we can get all we only have to go down one road and cross one road the rest is just walkways and we can go all the way down to the port through the um, Tehanui walkway down, down the um, coastal walkway down to the port yeah and that's all that's one of the another great things about New Plymouth because we're from we're Christchurch in Christchurch, there was no real walkways. There's just footpaths and mm. yeah, 
Yeah, we're very lucky with our coastal work walkway. I think that's a bit special, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And sometimes you, there's like seals in that on the rocks, which is cool. Yeah. Great. Well, it sounds like you're really enjoying living here. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's a great place. And if I was, if I lived somewhere else, it would be my choice for a holiday. Cool. Maybe in summer it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It can't beat New Plymouth on a good day, I reckon. That was Michelle Bent talking to me about New Plymouth. I'm George Harris. Thanks for listening. This is 104.4 FM Access Radio. This is Cheerleader by OMI. When I need motivation, my one solution is my queen, cause she stays strong. Yeah, yeah. She is always in my corner, right there when I wanna. All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone and they say, Do you need me? Think I'm pretty Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really Cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She is always right there when I need her Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader She is always right there when I need her She walks like a model She grants my wishes like a genie in a bottle Yeah, yeah Cause I'm the wizard of love And I got the magic wand All these other girls are tempting But I'm empty when you're gone And they say Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really Cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader This is Aiden Williams. Hello. Today we're talking about sports. Okay, so Lena Williams is our guest today. What is your favourite sport? Well, there are certain sports that I like to watch. Uh, I like to watch tennis and I also like to watch sports that are related to dancing, like gymnastics or figure skating. Who's your favourite sports person? Interestingly, the favorite sports person of, of mine is my son, because it's very encouraging. To be honest, I'm a quitter myself. I, there are several projects that I didn't bring to the end, and now when I want to quit, I always think, mm, it will be a really bad example for my boy. <laughs> or, oh, he wouldn't quit, I should keep going. And it helps me keep going. So it's very motivational to have a my favourite sportsman in a family. Okay. So, uh, what do you think is in common between team and individual sports? Well, this is a very deep question. I think that all sports have something in common. Like, they are good for fitness, so you have to be really fit to play any sports. Yeah. And also, I think that sports is... um, 
encouraging strategic thinking because whether you're playing in a team or whether you're playing yourself you still have to think strategically whether the ball go or whether you have to give a pass or something like that yeah okay so going back to what's your favorite sport uh, why do you like watching like dancing and tennis um I like the beauty of it. I like the beauty of human movements. I was dancing myself when I was younger, and I always can relate to it. I have never been figure skating, though. Uh, in tennis, they all dress nicely. Their body is beautiful, so it's just very entertaining. Yeah. What's your least favorite sport? That's a very funny question. My least favorite sport is probably... Um, I don't know, actually. My least favorite sports would be something very physical. Maybe powerlifting or sumo, simply because I'm not strong enough and I cannot relate to it. Yeah. So, um... Can I ask you a couple of questions too? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yes. So, Margot, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is soccer... Because it keeps you, like, you've got a lot of energy after you've done it. Because there's a lot of running around to do. Awesome. Brilliant. And what is your favourite sport, Aidan? Has to be rugby. <laughs> and why? Um, you have to be very physical. Like, have to have strong legs to power through the tackle. And for the tackling... You have to have a, you have to have very strong shoulders, or otherwise you could break your shoulder. And also have to you have to turn your tackle right and uh, place it. Like if you uh, tackle with your head between the, your opponent's legs, uh, you'll break your neck. And you have to make sure that your head doesn't go into your uh, uh, into the ball carrier's knee. Wow, that's pretty deep. Well done for that. Yeah. I've also got uh, some uh, more sports that I like. Uh, my favourite summer sport is tennis. You have to have very strong legs. Uh, you have to be very jumpy as well. Have a, a strong uh, wrist and strong arms. Margot, what sports do you like, like to watch? I like to watch tennis because it's just nice and graceful and interesting thank you Olina for letting us have you today hope you enjoy your time everyone my name's Aiden and this is Margo kakite no kakite Hello, my name is Alina Williams and today I have a group of very talented kids from Taranaki and we are media kids. We are learning how to make radio on Access Radio 104.4 FM. Today we are going to have a number of interviews on the topics that are really interested for the, interesting for those kids. And please welcome to the studio Aidan, Margo, Alistair, Aaron, Sam, George and Mandro. This is 104.4 FM, Access Radio. You're with Aaron. Hi. Alistair. Hi. Monroe. Hi. And Sam, me. Playing 21 Pilots Dressed Out. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words I wish I found some chords in an order that is new I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think My name's Blurry Face and I Turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Smell will take 
me back to when I was young How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it Try to sell it, never sell out of it I'd probably only sell one Maybe to my brother Cause we have the same nose Same clothes, homegrown A stone's throw from a creek we used to roam But it would remind us of when nothing really mattered Out of student loans and treehouse homes We all would take the ladder My, my name's Blurry Face and I Back time to the good old days when the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. We used to play pretend, give each other different names. We would build a rocket ship and then we'd fly it far away. Used to dream of outer space, but now they're laughing at the face, saying, Wait. Hi, my name is Munro, and today we will be talking about gaming with Alina Williams. My first question is, when do you usually like to play video games? Well, that's an interesting question to ask and answer, simply because I really like to play my video gaming at night when all my other chores are done. So I'm sitting quietly in a corner in front of a computer and doing my little things. What devices do you usually like to play on? My favorite device to play on is a tablet. So we have a, um, I have a tablet of my son, actually. I borrow it all the time. And um, sometimes I use uh, the stationary computer. I use the normal computer screen. But my favorite is probably the tablet. Hello, everyone. It's Alistair here. Do you like horror in general? <laughs> Thank you, Alistair, for asking such a hard question. But I don't. <laughs> what was the scariest experience you ever had? The scariest experience, you wouldn't believe, is was on a roller coaster. I was in a Disneyland and um, my son persuaded me to go onto the roller coaster. So um, it was all nice and bright outside, all sparkling things, lights. And then we went inside and we went right up, up, up and then suddenly the light was off. So I was sitting for three minutes with no light and then it started to move really fast down. I thought that I'm dying. <laughs> this was the scariest moment of my life. Uh, my name is uh, Aaron. <laughs> um, uh, I have a question for you, which is, what games do you like and why do you like them? Um, through my life, I went through several stages. At the moment, I really like Clash of Clans. It's one of the strategic games and you can play um, in groups, in clans. I really like this group environment because people can teach you and I really like that my um, clan is in Ukraine so my clan is called Love Ukraine. Uh, my second question is um, recently uh, recently I have read um, a statement in the newspaper that uh, kids were able to get um, a college degree uh, for gaming. Uh, what is your opinion on that? Well, um, you're the first person who was talking about it and I really need to check this information before I actually sending my son to uh, the gaming, for, to, to the college for gaming <laughs> degree. <laughs> but um, 
I think that it, it, it is the future, definitely, because um, uh, like uh, people who are in their 60s, a long time ago, only outcasts were doing surfing. They ran away from school, they did surfing competitions between their mates, and look look at them now. So there are some really big money and big prizes in surfing competitions around the world. So um, whether we like it or not, the gaming is the reality of this world, and uh, mm, people are going to develop it because there is a huge audience. question is what is your opinion on gaming it is a very complicated question because uh, from one point of view a mom and who doesn't want uh, her child to spend a lot of time in front of the screen from the second time I'm a human being who is uh, very addicted to some gaming aspects <laughs> so um, I think that it's all about how you apply it because gaming is not always a bad thing because you have to think strategically when you play certain games and you really need to obey the rules and do some other things that uh, mimic the real life but bad thing that people can become addicted to it and this is not right do you think it's wrong that kids are spending hours and hours on tablets and phones and computers playing games um i think that it should be a balance in life for example if you um, need energy you can't eat 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 but do not sleep because uh, you need to take energy from several sources. The same uh, with the other aspects of life. You can play computer games as a reward or as some fun hobby, but you can uh, not live on it. That's my opinion. Okay. What is your opinion on competitive gaming? Well, it, it would be really hard for me to answer because I'm probably the most incompetitive person you ever met um, I'll tell you why because um, when someone loses to me I feel so sorry for that person that I really want them to win and I start, start to give up and that's why little kids love playing with me any game because they always win <laughs> Thank you Alina for joining us and you have been listening uh, to Sam, Aaron, Alistair and Monroe talking gaming Thank you Thank you for your attention. I felt very privileged to work with our young journalist who showed so much determination and professionalism. I felt really, really glad, glad that our future media depends on people like that. It was Media Kids at Access Radio Taranaki 104.4 FM with Alina Williams. You can find the recording of the program at www.accessradiotaranaki.com. Thank you. Thank you.